Oh, okay. Hey, how are you today? Good, what are you having today? I'm gonna have the honey lavender uh, latte. Hot or rice? Hot. Small or large? Small is okay. The regular note? Yep. I got you, what else? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie. 544. Thank you. How's your day going so far? It's going good. Doing good? It's been a long day. Time's going so slow today. Yeah, what time you get off today? At 7.45. 7.45? Almost there. Since like 9. 9? Oh my gosh. The hustle. The hustle Sundays. culture. Hustle never stop. You ready, you know? <laughs> Need a receipt? No, I'm good. Thank right, you so thank much. Thank you. Have a good one. I'll be next time, okay? All right. Bye. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Mmm. All right. What's going on everybody? Today's video we're going to talk about how you can hmm, what do I want to say? So Today's video, we're basically going to talk about engineering stimulation in the lives of those struggling with ADHD. So, if you guys don't know what ADHD is, people with ADHD, usually it's attention deficit disorder, and typically people who have ADHD struggle with contentment, um, happiness, being bored easily, and um, I wanted to create some content um, that's geared towards that community because you'd be surprised how many people actually have it and don't even know that they do or they know that they have it and they're kind of like struggling trying to figure out what's the best solution, right? Right now, I'm in the Moynihan, I think that's how you pronounce it, Moynihan Train Hall in on 34th Street and uh, it's really nice in here. But uh, just got my honey lavender latte from Another difficult name, Manum. Manum, uh, this is a coffee shop. I don't know how you pronounce it. So, I discovered something, guys. I think that um, for me, right, it's such a blessing to have a job as a content creator, right? As a content creator, I can literally talk and make content about anything. Um, with that being said, I was just basically sitting with myself and just identifying where I kind of lost I began to get bored with it and to see how this is go how can I fix this right like how can I improve upon this this area you know what I mean um, and this is just talking about career could you imagine because people who have ADHD the struggle doesn't just it doesn't just stay with um, career it actually goes into it permeates through everything so that's career, that's relationships, um, a lot of different things. So, um, but for this conversation only, today's conversation, we're just talking about career, right? So I was thinking, I was like, when did it really be start to get like boring for me? And I was just like, okay, this is, this needs something needs else needs to happen because I'm just not feeling this routine that I've been getting into with the with the YouTube videos. And then I realized something today, which was really, imp really remarkable, honestly, when it hit me, because it was just like, I'm a content creator. I can literally create about anything. But for the longest time, I felt like I was stuck and trapped within this language niche that I got famous for. But there lies the challenge. Thus, there lies the stimulation. See, if I can, if I can strive and try to break out of this language niche that I've gotten so popularized and so famous for, then that in itself is, is stimulating to me. It makes me want to feel like, all right, there's, 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 there's excitement in it. There's something new. There's something refreshing. And, 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 and that's literally what people who have ADHD crave. Like, we crave the excitement, the stimulation of something new, something fresh, something spontaneous. And that would be honestly the, the best way to describe my personality. Like my personality is someone who is extremely spontaneous. Um, if you guys watched the other video I did, and I was talking to the older Dutch couple, the way she put it, I'm a nomad. And that is definitely true. I would definitely say I am a nomad. So I started thinking like, okay, 
I have to find ways just basically to make all right I'm back so if you ask yourself like all right how could you make consecration stimulating for me it's the challenge it has to be some kind of new challenge something there that I haven't done before or you know <clears throat> that is going to present itself as a challenge for me and uh, I guess that's for me to explore but I think this video is intended for people who struggle with the contentment and the you know the dogma of just whatever career that they're in and they, they get bored easily and it honestly ends up to be in the, to their detriment because you know they end up probably getting laid off they probably end up just losing their job um, whatever you whatever you want to call it like they just end up just be they end up becoming disengaged with whatever it is that is providing them a living and you know what's how they earn a living so I'm fortunate that my job is uh, that I, 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 I make a living from consecration but you also have to think about okay, how can this happen if someone works let's say maybe in corporate America or they have a job that just a regular um, everyday job a nine to five it could be really challenging um, and I this is why I wanted to make a video like this is like okay so what do they do how can someone like that who isn't who doesn't work for themselves who, uh, who isn't a freelancer how can they navigate um, having ADHD so I would definitely say honestly you got to know who you are right it's like it's like knowing who you are is gonna help avoid a lot of pitfalls like you gotta you gotta get to a place where you're not you're you're, you're I don't think it really is conducive uh, for people who have ADHD to, to have a happy life by working nine to fives I just don't think because it just won't fit them it just won't fit them and it'll just become a life of misery and depression like if you if you struggle with this type of contentment and be and stable uh, stabilization um, with 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 working then you should you should try to become financially free as, as as quick as possible you need to try to become financially free as quick as possible but um, more than that you need to become you need to look into career choices or career paths that that align with your normal makeup. Because it's, it's just like, all right, it's like, to put it for lack of words, you know they say some people are just meant to be, just meant to be a boss or some people are meant to be an employer, some people are meant to be managers, some people are good with, they have certain skill sets that kind of like complement these things. Well, think of it, right? If you, think of like Elon Musk. Elon Musk ain't no nine to five worker. You know what I mean? Like your mind, you have to understand the kind of mindset that you have. The mind, the brain that you have. It's like trying to expect a fish to fly. A fish is not designed to fly. A fish is designed to swim. So in the same way, they have, society has had this, had this very peculiar way of grouping all human beings together as if we're all equally the same kind of species and we're the same we we're all wired the same well no there's there it isn't true like even if you look back in time you know there were nomadic people there were tribesmen there were warriors there were hunters there were cookers there were people that 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 worked out um at home and, and took care of everything at home these people are there's always difference there's a difference in different kinds of character and there's different types of people so why all of a sudden everybody they, they want to push everybody into this mold to work and to do things the way society wants them to be done and it's just because of the founding uh, it's just because how society has now pushed towards industrialization and you know is this this is trying to, this is all a part of trying to become a homogenous society but what's the point of this Frankie where are you going with all this my point is that you need to know you you have to look out for you see I know myself right like I couldn't have, I, I had so many nine to five well I have so many like I, I, I knew quickly like I was just not it was just not meant for me and uh, um, one of my earliest profession was I started cutting in the hair cutting business uh, the hair industry which essentially started off like a, a freelance worker Barbers, uh, um, stylists, we're essentially freelance workers. So, luckily for me, I was since a very really early age. I was very, I was always into like grinding, just making money. That's always been my reputation. This is how to make money, and I developed that skill set really early. Like at the age of 16, I was, I was, uh, became a really uh, proficient barber. But 
even still, I, I had like regular jobs. I had regular nine to five jobs. Like I worked at T-Mobile at one point. I worked at JCPenney retail jobs. And I could just tell her immediately it was not, that was not gonna work for me because it's just, I, my brain isn't wired that way. So people who struggle with ADHD, who struggle with the, the contentment or, or um, the lack thereof of excitement in, in their workplace, you need to understand that you don't belong there. And this is a part of my journey as well. Like I'm also understanding that, you know what? There's nothing necessarily wrong with me. I saw an example somebody said on TikTok or something the other day. It was just like, you know, the fish in the tank are sick. You don't, you don't, you don't blame the fish. To, you don't, you don't change the fish out. Or he said something to that effect. He's like, it's not the fish. It's the fish tank. If the fish tank is dirty and the fish tank is full with all kind of muck, the fish inside are, and, and are eventually going to get sick, right? So, people who are People who are currently trying to fit into the mold that society has placed on us and and you, you're there beating yourself up like okay damn why can't I keep a job or why can't I be sick you're not meant to and I don't I don't know maybe there's information out there that that kind of offers clarity on this subject but I've never come across me there's nothing wrong with me and there's nothing wrong with people who think or who act like me. We are a different kind of, we are a human race, we are human, we are human beings. However, our brains are wired differently for a specific evolutionary purpose. Our brains are wired differently for a specific evolutionary purpose, okay? I'm a hunter. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to hunt. I'm supposed to, that, that my brain is wired towards excitement. You know, it's like in the animals in the wild, right? Or if you want to compare maybe all right there's some primates that are more known to be aggressive or if you say dogs right there's some dog a species of uh, dog uh, breeds that are breeds that are um violent and there's some dog breeds are very docile they're very kind they're very sweet all right i'm a pit bull and people who have adhd people we're we're pit bulls we attack we attack we know how to attack and we we know how to get what we want and we know when something is just not meant for us, it's not meant for us. It doesn't mean nothing's something is, is better than or something is above or less than. No, it just means that this is you're trying to fit me into a mold that I am evolutionary not supposed to play. Okay? It's like trying to get a monkey to go deep sea fishing and deep sea swimming. It's just not meant to happen. So I just wanted to share another new video of Frankie Talks. I just want to share you guys with this powerful understanding and self actualization uh moment because i realized that you know what it's nothing wrong with me and um there's nothing wrong with people who have the same brain as me we're con consider us different breeds we're a different breed we're cut from a different cloth okay we're cut from a different cloth all right but at the same time you have to know how to manage that okay it's your responsibility so if you know you struggle with adhd symptoms and you know your mind needs the constant stimulation of a uh, figure out in what ways can you challenge yourself to be able to get the the result or the outcome that you want for your life for myself i had that moment just now i had that epiphany for me the way i'm going to be able to do that with youtube thankfully i'm a youtuber i'm a creator a content creator is basically challenge challenge trying to create new and different things that i haven't done before i don't just speak different languages i sing i'm into business i'm into finance i'm into self-help i'm into grooming i'm into fashion i'm into adventure i'm into this i could keep going on and on and on but i have to be able to switch switch and be agile and go with the different go with the different interests that spark me at this at the moment of time or whatever that i'm in so whatever sparks my interest at this moment is what i have to pursue and um I don't know, I've been having the, the, the itch for music lately. Um, I, I have to get some new equipment in order to make music, but I've been having the itch to make, start singing again, playing my guitar, cr writing songs, and my musical itch is, 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 is gearing up. And uh, if you look at old, old they, call them, they call us polymaths, right? I guess people that are, can do a lot of different things, um, jack of all trades, master of none, but can perform each and everything at a very proficient level. You know, I, I guess you could call it that, but 
at the end of the day, just understand, fellow ADH viewers who are watching this, there's nothing wrong with you. You just gotta figure out how to play the game. The game that they, they've, they've shoved us all in, figure out how to play it and figure out how to make it work for you, all right? That's all I had to say today. Peace out. Thank you for watching Frankie's Talk. All right, see you guys in the next uh, video. Um, don't know what it's going to be. We don't, we, we've been doing the live streams lately, and that's been pretty fun. Um, we got another one coming up this Thursday. Um, yeah, man, just going with the flow. When I get some more music equipment, I'll be able to make some more music. When we're doing the streams, I'm just chilling with you guys. So you guys missed the last one. Don't mix this one coming up this Thursday. Uh, I believe it's October 5th. All right, guys. Much love. Peace.